Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. And it's the latest of the Child's Play series known as Curse of Chucky. It's the first one in the series that simply went straight to video on both DVD and Blu-ray combo pack. And it stars Brad Dorif, the voice of Chucky, along with his daughter, Fiona Dorif, Chanto Quisnell, Daniel Bosuti, A. Martinez, Madeline McConnell, Brennan Elliott, Summer H. Howell, Adam Hurtig, with special appearances by Jennifer Tilly and Alex Vincent. And it's written and directed by Don Messini, who has written and co-written all the Child's Place series. The movie begins set at a local mansion. A young handicapped woman named Nika, played by Fiona Dorif, has been living with her mother all this time. That is until she received a package in the mail, which turned out to be a creepy doll named Chucky, who may have been remembered since the event had happened 25 years ago. But then at night, her daughter decided to hear some screaming that's coming from her mother, which leads to a bloody murder death, and suddenly she passed away. So after they went to a funeral the very next week, she decided to recuperate from the event that happened, and her sister Barb and her brother-in-law Anne, along with the priest and their five-year-old daughter Alice and their nanny, decided to stay over in, in the mansion for a couple of days while during a stormy night that occurred. But then suddenly a lot of mysterious things has been happening once they were staying over as one person had been killed after another and once Nika found out that many of these mysterious murderers might have lead to the Dao himself well, it did have its moments, though. I did enjoy the Chucky doll that I once seen since the first movie. Yeah, and, and that was that classic Chucky doll we all know and love. That is until he was in Stitches, you know, once Bride of Chucky came along. But th there was a lot of great moments in that. But then, some of the CGI effects they added into it. I, I even noticed his mouth was moving pretty funny compared to all the others, but that's okay. Um, I can accept that if, if they knew they were doing it. But this is, of course, uh, a direct-to-video sequel to it, and it worked pretty well for it, despite of its budget, but before they started doing the so-called reboot that's coming out pretty soon, which I, I'm not so sure if I'm going to be um, enjoying that one, because, I mean, I love the original more than anything, so I, I'm just getting tired of these these ridiculous you know, reboots or remakes or whatever that they come up with these days. The good thing about this though was that at least we got to see Brad Dorf again, and especially once again as the voice of Chucky. On the other hand though, the movie is pretty predictable. There was one scene where Chucky was actually putting rat poison on one of the chilies, which causes one of them to be sick. There were some scenes that seems to go on way too long when I really wish they would focus more on Chucky's sinister plans, which was enough for him to go after all these victims. Yeah, that's what I really wanted to see more often. Even though he was given all these cheesy dialogue. I hated Nika's sister, Barb, who is a complete bitch, and I wish she would just die already as the scene goes through. Because, you know, it's like she just doesn't give a shit about everybody. She doesn't even care about her sister. All she cares about is herself. That's all I know about. Yeah. But I'm glad she did die later in the film. And towards the end. But I'm not going to give that one away. But all I know is that at least we know his backstory about all of this. And we're going to keep it that way. The movie did, however, feature four endings. Yeah, that's right, they had four endings to the movie. And the sad part is, 
only the last one worked. And that was the post credit ending that they had, which actually featured a cameo by Alex Vincent, who was in the original, original Child's Play movie, including the second one too. So it was good to see him again after all these recent uh, interviews that I've seen. Uh, that was a nice change of pace. All the other endings, on the other hand, even with the one with Jennifer Tilly making a cameo appearance, didn't work. It's just one boring ending scene after another, which I just really don't get. It gets a little confusing, and it just seems like they're just adding that as a complete joke. It's a decent sequel, but not nearly as good as all the others. I'll take my word for it. It's definitely worth watching. Even if you enjoyed all the Chucky movies out there. Even if you're not a big fan of Seed of Chucky or any of the other ones, that's okay. You can actually rent this movie on Netflix if you get a chance. Or maybe get to watch this on DVD. Or even Blu-ray for that matter. Or maybe you can buy it if you get a chance. It did came along with all the other Chucky series on Blu-ray. Yeah, except for the first movie, which has already been released. But you can actually get that along with it, if you must. So I say, if you love the Child's Play series, definitely go get those movies for yourself. Because you know you're going to appreciate them. Anyway, I give Curse of Chucky three stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.